Hi everyone, this is James from Junior Developer Central and welcome to another viewer's questions where we'll be looking at doing some exercises with some strings in arrays. So in this tutorial we're going to be looking at a question that was posted on a previous tutorial about string handling, in particular finding the longest length word in a string. And our questions come from Devaraj who's basically asking how they can do a couple of exercises using an array of strings and the first is to find the third largest string in an array and the second is to take two arrays and to find out the common words that are in both arrays. So the second question is pretty straightforward and we'll look at that in just a second but the first part is a little bit trickier so we'll look at that first and let's dive straight into the Chrome Dev tool so we can solve that problem. So let's first set up an array of strings that we can use for our exercises. And if you watched the previous tutorial on finding the longest word in an array, you'll know we can just apply a sort method to this array, which will give us the word sorted in length order. So the simplest way to solve the first problem of finding the third largest string in an array is just to pick out the item at index position number two, which gives us the third longest string within that array. And whilst that appears to work and might work for most people's solutions, the anteater string isn't really the third largest string in the array. And that's because if you look at the length of the strings, the crocodile string is nine characters, the elephant string is eight characters, but also the anteater string is eight characters. So because they're actually the same, you could say that mouse is actually the third largest string in the array because the length of elephant and anteater is identical. So there's no one particular solution that solves this easily. You could, for example, set up a for loop and check each item that you're looping through and keep a count of the largest strings and only update that if the length of the strings is different. But one solution I did think of which might work for most people is to get the unique lengths of all the words. So here I've just created a new array called word lengths and I've basically taken the words that are inside of the original array and instead of getting the actual strings just mapped it to the length of those strings and then wrapped that all inside a new set constructor which will remove any duplicates. So just looking at the numbers that are returned we've got 9 which was for crocodile, 8 which was for elephant and anteater and then number 5 was for mouse. So if we just find the string in the words array that matches the same length as the third item in our word lengths array, you can see this time we get mouse returned as the third largest string, which depending on the requirements of your program might be what you're actually after, rather than the previous result of anteater that we got. So hopefully that answers question one. Let's take a look at question two, which is to find the common words that are in two arrays of strings. So let's first create another array. And comparing that to the original words array, we want to identify the common words. So it should be pretty obvious that it's elephant and cat, but let's run a filter method on the more words array to identify that with JavaScript. So by simply using the includes function inside of our filter, it will simply return a true or false value depending on whether the word in the more words array is present in the original words array. So that's pretty straightforward. The only thing you need to be aware of is if one of your arrays has more items than the other, that will be the array that you want to call the filter function on, just to make sure that all the words are covered. So that's it for this viewer's questions. Hopefully we've answered the two questions that were asked by Devaraj in the comment section on that previous video. If you do have your own questions of your own, feel free to post them in the comments on this video, or you can request them in our Slack group.